Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5, Episode 6. We're going to be doing a trailer breakdown for the new trailer. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Alright, so let's go ahead and break this trailer down. Also, we've got a new poster, so let's quickly talk about this new poster. So it's kind of... Just a different iteration of the poster they released before the season started. So we've just got the Danvers Sisters. So this is technically a Danvers Sisters poster. It's just really nice. I thought I would include it in this video. You can see all the details. Obviously very detailed because they've taken these on like super high quality cameras. They've touched up in Photoshop and so on. So yeah, great poster. Let's go ahead and talk about this trailer. Let's break this trailer down shot by shot. So the first shot of the trailer is of Alex. Alex is walking through the DEO, but the DEO is weirdly still. Like everyone's standing in the same position and Alex is the only one moving. So she says, Supergirl, I think we have a bit of a situation here. Someone has incepted the DEO. So with this, and we'll move on to the next shot in a minute, I sort of suspect that this may be to do with Lena and obviously what's happening with Malefic and how now she can essentially incept herself to control other people so has Lena done this like is Lena here to you know mess with Supergirl in some sort of way to stop everyone from doing everything you know I think her ideas are obviously going to go into fruition very soon so I think it could be you know, maybe an after effect of what she's been trying to do. Maybe she's trying to like send out like a shockwave throughout the whole city to control everyone. But the thing is, we have a crater in this episode who is, in fact, in the comics, Andrea Rojas. And we know that Andrea has been tasked by Leviathan to get the guy from last episode, Rip Roar, who is locked up in the DEO right now. So she's definitely in here. But was it Lena that caused the Inception thing? Because I don't think Akrata has the power to do that because only Lena has the power to Incept right now, who is obviously not a Martian because, you know, Malafaya can do it and now she can do it. No one else can. So why should Akrata be able to do that? So this is where I'm sort of leading. Let me know what do you think about that in the comments down below because, you know, Akrata from what we know she's not a martian or anything like that all right so we move on to the next shot so everyone's still standing still once again they're looking up not sure what's happening everywhere everyone's just sort of frozen so then we get the shot of alex alex is talking to supergirl trying to get some help and it seems she can't actually reach her over her comms because we cut to the next shot and we've got her pressing her signal on her belt and Kara says Alex is in trouble. So she's pressing the signal because something obviously is incredibly wrong. She gets out her gun and she is pulling it out on whoever is up there. And so we got this shot of Alex. This is just sort of like a small cutaway shot. And so then we move on to the bit that I find a little bit suspicious because the camera is focused on Lena and then it they pull the focus essentially and it goes on to Kara. But it has this menacing feel to it because she is behind her, like, looking upon her because, you know, she is now basically all-powerful. She can incept. So, this leads back to what I was talking about just a minute ago with the idea that maybe she has done this and she's only kept a few people, you know, out of this inception thing. But then Akrata, at the same time, plans to go to the D.E.O., kill Rip Roar or get him out or something and it just so happens that the inception thing that Lena does is right at the same time and it helps her so anyway let's move back to this so we just carry on this is in focus we see Kara her face is kind of in shock so she's seen something or you know maybe it's the TV or it could actually be someone but she's in Lena's apartment then we go back to the DEO we get a shot of Brainy and Brainy is kind of shocked i guess like he's very confused at least so i think some of the people are still just like way out of it in the background so i'm not sure if he is able to snap out of whatever trance that you know the inception has caused but yeah let's move on so this is where we get the introduction of a and it confirms essentially that 
yes, the shadow person who, as I theorised, was something to do with Leviathan, but I didn't theorise it was a crater. Some people were saying it's a crater. So, yeah, more likely than not, it is definitely Andrea Rojas, and, you know, she has some sort of superpower that, you know, we'll be made aware of in this episode. So, what's happening in the shot is, this is, again, in the DEO, the lights have shut off, seems like the people were in kind of similar positions, but they've now got their guns out, so maybe the inception or whatever's happened has stopped, but then you get to see this guy flying in the air, and you can see this sort of smoky shadow around him and it seems like that is a crater who in the comics is Andrea Rojas as I've said so she is obviously going to be a villain I think she's killing people here so she is linked to Leviathan as confirmed by the end of last episode which is really interesting and you know they're going full throttle into the comic books I guess so we got the shot of Alex and Alex is here and she says ah oh, hell no great delivery Let's move on to the next shot, so the next shot is again just that same guy going flying in the air from a different angle, then we move on and it seems like Alex is actually stuck inside the DEO and she shouts Supergirl, she is screaming, she is really really in fear and you know in need of help at this point. So it seems like maybe a crater has got to her because, you know, she's one of the only ones that has not been intercepted, it seems like. So has she got to her and locked her in one of the cells where, say, Rip Roar was? Maybe, you know, chuck her in there, take him out, kill him or, you know, put him away somewhere. I think that's probably what has happened. And so now let's move on to the next shot. The next shot you get to see... It's a little bit sort of glitchy, you can see the outlines and the motion blur isn't quite right, but that's on purpose, it's a stylized way of um, filming, which we'll get to as to why they're doing that in a second, but he's been dragged across the ground, seems like he's probably getting killed, but this is the explanation for it. So, you see everything going on, but then there's a figure just by the doorway in the DEO, who is masked, who is in black, that is a crater, but she is blurred in that very same way, so it seems like, you know, whatever her powers is, maybe this is in slow motion for her, because as you saw in that other episode, when the shadow came out and killed the person who actually, fun fact, worked for Leviathan, that means that if a crater's coming to kill Rip Raw, you know, she's definitely the shadow person who killed the other woman, you know, with the spider stuff, so... You know, the motion blur is there, I guess, to signify her powers. But yeah, so this is our first look at her crater. I'm fairly sure it's her. Like, I could be wrong, but I'm basically 99% sure it's her. So Andrea is here, and she's walking down the DEO hallway. The two people are sort of inanimate, they're not moving. So this is definitely her trying to get to Rip Raw in this episode. Okay, so we have Alex pulling a gun inside the DEO. So actually, I think a lot of this episode is actually going to be just like stuck in the DEO for most of the episode. You know, maybe the ending's not and a few things like that. So she's pulling out the gun. This is later in the episode because you can see the Supergirl, the sort of House of L sign is lit like it was earlier because she has called for Supergirl's help. So... Yeah, she's very confrontational, it seems like she is facing off against a crater in the shot. And then Supergirl talks about how you're messing with my friends, you sort of underestimated us, and you know, something roughly like that. So, she's confronting her, she has finally arrived at the DEO, she's obviously helping Alex, because Alex has been screaming Supergirl and everything like that, so that's what's happening here. So, yeah, big fight I guess, is going to be coming up in this scene. So that is about it for this video guys, please be sure to check out my review for last night's episode, you can check that out, that came out earlier today. But that's about it for this video, so I will catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.